Hey, this is Tony Ross for CreativeCal.net. And in this lesson, I want to do a simple little multi-video player using a single, well, video player. Uh, but in this lesson, I'm not going to do an AS2. I'm actually going to do this as an action script three. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, if you've downloaded the file, uh, you have the following. You have uh, this little video, little video playback here. And our FLV playback, it's, I have it labeled pub player. Technically you could call it George, Fred or Ethel. Uh, we give this a name so we can come back later and call it in action script. Okay. Now don't get cute with your names. You're going to be wondering who the heck George, Fred and Ethel are later. Okay. So just kind of keep it straight. Why is mine called pub player? Because I'm using public domain video. Okay. Now, uh, our buttons, 3V, 2V, 1V, and Juvie's totally different kind of button. Okay. Anyway. Reminds me of that movie Reform School. Okay. Back on track. Uh, let's uh, lock these layers, keep ourselves out of trouble here. Uh, and by the way, I've got my video layer. Okay. And we've got our buttons layer. Okay. And our buttons are on our buttons layer. Our videos are on our videos layer. Keep your socks in your sock drawer. Kind of important here. Um, actions. That's where our actions go. So um, I've got my little area up here. I like keeping my actions up here because if when I'm ready to type them, I can go double click. Wow. Now that's classy. Just pops right open there. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to do stop. Uh, not top. Okay, well, we can go back and type that in. Uh, action script, in case you have noticed, is color coded. So uh, when you do things like that, it's going, dude, okay, you meant to type that. That's better. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to give it a function. So we're going to simply type out function. All right. And the first function we're going to do is going to be called video one. So basically what a function is, is every time from now on, after I define what video one is, if I say video one, it knows what to do. Okay. Uh, it's kind of like if I tell you to walk because you, in theory, know how to walk. Uh, you know that you have to do that whole one foot in front of the other thing. So that's all been explained and your brain understands that. So when I give you the command of walk, you're going, okay, lift this leg, do this, do this, and do this, and do this. Okay. Make sense? So what we're going to do is go ahead and define what video one is going to be. So let's do some parentheses. And this is going to be an event. And let's do this little colon there and it's going to be M-O-U-S-E okay so that's kind of already showing up mouse there but if I uh, type in this next little letter big E hey it's mouse events right here so I can double click so right now I'm saying hey there's going to be something I want you to do it's called video one um, and that's going to be a mouse event sounds good all right so we're going to do a colon here and we're going to type in the word void all right so it's our way of telling the computer, okay, I'm about to tell you what this is, pay attention. Okay, and again, I'm kind of doing my brackets. I like to do those ahead of time because that's one of the major mistakes that people always leave out. They forget to close things out. So I close them just early. All right, now, this next line is exactly what video one is. What do I want it to do? So I'm gonna type in pub player and who am I talking to? I'm talking to the FOV player. Okay. Cause that's the name I gave it. Okay. Pub player dot S O U R C E source as in what is the path to the video that's actually playing there. Okay. It's pretty simple. And let's do some quotes here and let's go ahead and do a semicolon just to end this. All right, now I'm going to type in the path FLVs slash 01 dot 
FLV. Okay, so it's basically saying, all right, there's a function called video one and it's a mouse event. All right, here's what it is. Uh, pub player, which is our FLV player. Um, I want that source, the source of the movie. I want it to be FLV 01 FLV. Very simple. Okay. I'm going to copy all of this. Command C, Control C on PC. Let's go to our next line. Paste. Okay. Because I love typing. Uh, let's do video two. Same command, except for we don't want it to do the first FLV. We want it to do the second one. Next line. Okay, this is going to be for video three. And we want it to play the third FOV. Okay, this is all well and good. We've got our three functions. We're telling that what to do on these functions. What happens on video one? What happens on video two? What happens on video three? That's great. But there's nothing calling those. There's nothing saying that these functions should be called here at all. So let's go to our next line here. Give ourselves a little bit of space. And now we've done, we're have done. we done talking to our FLV player. We're going to actually talk to our buttons. Uh, what was our button called? Let's do 1V. Okay. Dot. Okay. I'm talking to that button. So what I'm going to say is, hey, dude, I need you to listen for something. I need you to listen for an event. Add event listener. Okay. Looks good. Hey, and I know I spelled it right. For instance, if I decided to do something like that, it's like, hey, it's not blue. You misspelled something. Okay. And you know how you figure out when you do that? It's when you do it during a full tutorial and you have to record the whole thing over. Not that that has ever happened to me. Okay. Anyway, add event listener. Okay. What event listener is it? Let's do some parentheses here. We're going to type in M-O-U-S-E. E-V-A-N-T. It's a mouse event. Why are we listening for a mouse event? Because um, we, we made mouse events. Okay. So uh, what mouse event are we listening for? Let's do dot. And I'm going to simply type out click. Okay. And then I'm going to type comma. Now, mind you, here's something really cool. I just typed that lowercase, right? Let's do a comma. Hey, it capitalized it for me. Thank you ever so much. All right. So, um, hey, button 1V, I want you to listen out for a click. Okay, I'm listening. And when I hear that click, what would you like me to do? Well, what I'd like for you to do is um, uh, I want you to do something called video 1. So, I'm going to type in video 1. Okay, that, that's all I want you to do. And at the end here... We're going to do our little semicolon and that line is done. Highlight all of this, copy, command C, control C on PC. Let's go to the next line, paste. Okay. And let's talk to our other button. Hey, 2V. Yeah. I want you to listen out for something like a click and then I want you to play video one. But dude, my name is two. Dude, you're right. Um, so let's give you video two. We want you to do that function. Make sense? All right. Last but not least, little Mr. 3V. Okay. Um, is going to do the function video three. Now, some of you are saying, well, dude, why don't you just keep all of these together? I like defining what my functions are and then telling the computer when to use those functions. It's just me. I'm going to go ahead and auto format this. Looks pretty decent. My colors look good. All right. Now um, let's test this. And hopefully, what we'll see is let's see command return, control enter on PC. Okay. And there we have it. It's all working. So, I uh, hope you've learned something here, and I hope this is going to help you. It's a very simple thing. Uh, of course, you can make it pretty later. Uh, bake the cake first. Frost it later. 
All right. So this has been Tony Ross for creativecow.net. And remember, keep it simple. Make it perfect. If you don't have time to make it perfect, rethink the idea.